Hi, how to get started with Carbon Copy Printer. So first of all, you download the software and you double click on it to install it. Click yes. Finish. So the icon should be on your desktop like that. So once that's installed, you can check that the printer has installed by going onto devices and printers and you should see a carbon copy printer there. So once that's done, you just open a file, click file and print. I want to select my carbon copy printer, click print. Now the first time it will pop up a box and because it's not set yet, it won't have any printers to print to. So now I can set it up where I want to print the actual printer. Click on the drop down, a list of the printers that were installed on this machine. So I pick this Xerox here. Now it pre-populates all the trays that are available. If you just leave it like that, it will print a copy to each of these trays on that printer. So I don't want to do that. I just want to print to say tray two and tray one. So it's just comma separated like that. You can put it in the order that you want as well. And you can use the same tray more than once as well. So you can put trays two, tray one, and then tray two again if you want to. In this instance, I'm just going to do the full file. This is a simple test. So that's now set up, click print. If I now go on the printer, you can see in the Xerox printer, you got these two files here, which is the example print. If I go into Spooku Viewer Plus Plus, you can actually look at the information more in detail. So you can see it's got the two files there and it's got tray two and then tray one, which is exactly what I wanted. Now to do it again, without the setup, now you just click on any file you want. So I'm going to do example the invoices, click file, print this is in any software that you want to use then select your printer click print if i go to the printer now you can see it's got the example invoices already there on the printer i want to print to so there's no setup now required also you can change the settings whenever you want so i'm going to cancel all these prints Double click on carbon copy printer. You can change the setup in here now. So I want to do it say page by page. And I'm going to put in tray two. It's case sensitive. It has to be exactly as it is in the driver. If you're unsure, click the T and that will pre-populate all the trays that are available. And then you can just use those names as you want. Just like that. Tray 2, tray 1, tray 2, page by page this time. That's set. Click close, which will save the settings. Then I'm going to go to print again. So this is a three page invoice. I print a carbon copy printer. If I then go on to the actual printer, you can see that it's done page 1 by itself, page 2. Page three. The reason why it's got three copies is because it's fit to tray two, tray one, tray two, and tray two, tray one, tray two, as in the setup that I set. So that's exactly what I wanted. So cancel that. So now I'm going to show you how this could work with, say, two trays and an image file. So I'm just going to print to tray two and then tray one, page by page. So open my image file, click print, and I print to the carbon copy printer. And you set the settings as usual. And I click print. So now if I go into the printer, you see it's done two copies, one on tray two and one on tray one. Of the actual photo which is what i wanted 
Now you can print to multiple printers as well with this. So to print to more than one printer, click on the plus button and select another printer or multiple. You can have up to six printers. So I'm going to print to Xerox 5855 and the 5890. So those two are populated there. As you can see, it's populated for both at the bottom. How it knows what's for what is it will have a separator and um, pipe symbol between each printer. So if I scroll across, I can see I've got pipe symbol there. So anything before that is for printer one. So I'm going to remove most of this and just do tray two on printer one, which is 5855 and tray one for the 5890. And you can have multiple as well. So I can put in tray two. So the pipe symbol is just specifying which printer it's for. So that's for printer one, that's for printer two. Click close, open a file to print. Click on print, come with copy printer. So that one now print to those two printers. I go down, so I can see I've got tray one for printer one, page one and page two separately. And for printer two, I've got tray one, tray two, tray one, tray two for each individual page. And that's it in a nutshell. Download it, give it a try. It's a fully featured trial. All it does is puts a trial stamp on the output so you can use it fully to try it all out.